Hi, I'm Mayor Duane Warren, and this is another segment on the state of the departments in our city. Today, I am with the director of the law department. Sir, what is your name? Gracia Montilla. Thank you for having me, Mayor. Thank you, sir. Gras, tell me, um, let's get right into it. How do you become director of the law department? So the city attorney is appointed by the mayor and voted on by the governing body. Um, so I was appointed by you, Mayor. Thank you. And I was accepted and appointed uh, by resolution uh, by the governing body uh, in September of 2019. What are the responsibilities of the law department? So we make sure that the city is adhering to all legal standards as adopted by the state governing body, um, as well as the AOC, which is the administrative office of the courts. We also address all legal inquiries uh, made by various departments, as well as your, your administration. We provide guidance to the administration and to those department directors. Um, and we're here to also to answer any and all questions that citizens may have with respect to their legal concerns. I want to get to the citizen aspect in a second. But we have about nine departments within the city. Tell me how you've structured your office so that you can be fully responsive to each of those departments. Well, what I've developed is a um, directive where my city attorneys, um, my deputies and my assistant city attorneys are responsible as liaisons to lend uh, service to each department. So each uh, attorney as a specific is assigned to a specific director of a department and they act as the liaison with respect to, again, making sure that all uh, questions or inquiries are addressed and anything else that comes up are satisfied. And you have a staff of how many lawyers? So I'm a director of um, th a team of three attorneys. I have two deputies and one assistant, um, as well as a paralegal and a legal assistant. And you also supervise and advise the municipality regarding the activities and the assignments of cases that get assigned to outside counsel. Correct. So there's a, so for whatever whatever cases that we have um, that the city gets involved in, sometimes we retain those cases inside where I have my again my team of attorneys that'll handle these cases. Other times, depending upon the complexity of the issues or other issues that are involved, I make a decision as to whether or not I'm going to farm that case to outside counsel. If the case is, is um, farmed out to outside counsel, I have a team or a list of outside counsel to choose from. And then I also supervise that, that, those cases and supervise the attorneys that are working on those cases. Now, how do you get on the list to be outside counsel? So we, they, uh, each attorney every year, we do what's called a, a request for a qualifications, request for proposals process, where attorneys, outside attorneys, will submit their qualifications for our review. They then get on a list where we would submit that list to the governing body for um, vote and approval. Once they are uh, voted on as, as, as outside counsels that we can actually use, we'll choose from the list depending upon, again, what cases involve, the expertise, um, the complexity, uh, whatever the issues, I make that determination. And what are the qualifications to serve as city attorney or to serve as one of the attorneys in your office? So obviously barred in the state of New Jersey, I'm looking for individuals who have municipal government experience. I'm looking for individuals that have trial experience, court experience, um, and that's pretty much it. You also supervise the prosecutor who's assigned to municipal court. What are their duties and um, what is the reach of your supervision there? So the prosecutor's office is the prosecuting agency for the city of Orange Township. They prosecute criminal matters, DPs, your disorderly persons offenses, as well as your petty disorderly persons offenses. Your indictable offenses obviously are not municipal level. Um, they also prosecute your motor vehicle violations, as well as our town ordinances, whatever issues we have, whether it's housing issues, um, things of that nature, uh, quality of life issues. They will prosecute those to the full ex extent. And they're assigned at the courthouse before a judge? Correct. They're assigned at the courthouse. But again, they come under the auspices of my office, where I, again, supervise that work. I'm in charge of that work, making sure that all legal standards, again, are abided by. But they are assigned to the municipal court, and they do function um, as a part of that court. Now, you did indicate earlier that you do have some interaction with citizens. And to make it clear, are you a legal advisor to any resident that appears in City Hall? So to make it clear, I am not. I'm here to, to, to render any um, assistance or answer any questions uh, that I can, but to not serve as their, their counsel. What I do is I make sure that they understand 
that the advice that, or the question, the answer that I render to any particular question should not be viewed as me offering them legal advice, that they should seek independent counsel, but to the extent that they have a question with respect to something that's going on in the city, we are here to certainly answer the question or to direct them to the right personnel or the right department that's going to, again, address their concerns. Now, as a department, you try to reach out to do some community service and try to give back so that your office is able to interact with the community. Tell me some of the programs that you've undertaken in order to provide outreach to the community. Well, I think one of the things that we try to do and that's very important for us to do and to continue to do, quite frankly, is to have seminars, right? So we'll have seminars, for example, uh, one of the biggest uh, or, or one of the biggest topics and one of the most popular topics is your landlord tenant uh, seminar. So we certainly reached out to the community, making sure that they understood their rights as tenants. You have a lot of uh, rental property or rental housing here in the city. Um, so it's important for the residents to understand what their rights are. Uh, as tenants, as well as landlords, quite frankly. So I think that seminar was definitely a, a, a valuable one for the citizens, for the city to have. And we try to do things like that to keep the residents informed, um, as well as to make sure that we, as a, as, a, as a servicing body, are reaching out to our residents and making sure that, again, they're, they're well informed with their rights, their issues, their concerns. And just for the public's information and for those homeowners out there, You've done seminars regarding mortgage foreclosures, regarding tax lien foreclosures. What is the one thing that you want homeowners to know and tenants to know about that process? So I, I think it's important for them to know to reach out to the proper source, right? So at least when you, if you have a question with respect to a lending issue or mortgage issue, to reach out to, the, to a, a, a mortgage lender. To the extent that you need um, assistance to that, come to our, come to our building. We'll certainly give you or point you in the right direction. You can come to our finance department, our tax department, we'll do what, and our legal department, quite frankly, we'll do what we need to do to make sure that you're pointed in the right direction and you have the right source of information. The law department is a place where most people don't have to visit on a regular basis. Um, where is it that they can see you on a weekly basis? Are you part of the city council meetings? So they can see me every two weeks or, or certainly see the law department every two weeks on, at, at, on the um, uh, council meeting uh, every other Tuesday at 7 o'clock. We'll certainly be there. Um, we'll certainly, again, to the extent that we can address and answer a question or an inquiry, we will. Or we will certainly take it under advisement and then, again, address it with either the particular department or we'll certainly address it and get back to the resident um, post haste. Reach out to the law department if you have a question or concern. They can't give you legal guidance. Is that correct? That is correct. They can't represent you in court, uh, but they can point you in directions that you may need to go to address whatever your uh, needs may be. When will you advertise your seminar schedule? How do you do that? And is it free? And is the public invited? 100% free. Public is invited, encouraged to attend. We will post any and all seminars uh, as they are scheduled on our website. Um, we also are available at any time for a phone call to the extent that our resident wants to know what's up and coming. We'll certainly be able to at least give them the ideas that we're, that we're working on. Um, and then we'll advertise them accordingly. Most law departments, they work in silence. We never see them. Um, you've committed to also being out in the community as community groups call and they have legal questions. Um, you've volunteered to go out and present. What is that about? So it's important for us, again, to make sure that the public understands that we're not just sitting in our office. We're not just uh, we're not just handling things in inside or in-house, if you will. We're outside. We're looking for ways to make sure that the city continues to adhere to all legal standards. Um, we're, we're out there looking for and making sure that we have a presence in the community, that they know that there's a legal responsibility that we have and we will meet that legal responsibility. So I think it's important for us to get that message out there to be, again, a part of the community. So, uh, Gras, as we close out, we, we call you Gras for short, but it's Gracia Montalis. Yes. Um, as we close out, who is Gras? So you're right, Mayor. So it's Gracia Robert Montalis, and um, I am a hardworking uh, attorney. I am a dedicated legal advocate for the city of Orange Township. I'm proud to be the director of law for the city of Orange Township. I was born in Haiti, uh, and I'm proud of that. 
and I remained dead. So I was born in Haiti. I came here uh, to the United States when I was about two and a half years old, three years old. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. I went to Holy Cross School. Uh, I went to Seton Hall University, and I went to Villanova uh, School of Law. And you've gotten a number of certificates and training after law school. After law school. So I did go back and get a master's in taxation, as well as other certificates that I've amassed uh, throughout my career. I've been practicing law for about the better, better part of 30 years now. There you have it. Um, Gras Montalus, the head of the law department in the city of Orange Township. Um, I want to stress again that when their community needs, please contact them. If you need information, they'll come out. Um, it's free, the guidance that they give. They cannot represent you in legal matters. However, um, they can provide information about how the system works and questions that you might have in your community. Thank you, sir, for coming Thank and informing for our public. I'm Mayor Warren. This is another segment in the state of our city.